Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my wonderful sweet babies. It's Destin Choice. Now to get on my podcast because I'm going to be real with y'all. I got to say what a lot of people are not saying. Christian Rock is not a morally upright individual. So as we all know, Christian Rock is the new it girl. Christian Rock is for some reason glamorized, glorified, and uplifted for her insane, toxic, and wild behavior. And I'm honestly still to this day perplexed that she still is in our faces. So if y'all didn't know, Christian Rock has been shoved in our faces ever since she became really popular from that trash reality show, Baddies. Fought several people and started being in a very public relationship with her washed up rapper boyfriend, Blueface. She became very, very forced and sensationalized. And for some reason, she's heavily uplifted. She's out here kicking it with Diddy. She's kicking it with mainstream celebrities. Drake was out here following her. And pretty much everybody wants to know who this girl is. She's beautiful with a banging body and a big ass gap in her mouth after she got into a physical altercation and ran into a statue, which then fucked up her teeth. And I honestly genuinely want these people to go away. Like I genuinely am so fucking tired of every time I'm on the blogs, I'm always seeing Lizzo, Cardi B, Lizzo, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Lizzo, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Lizzo, um, Love and Hip Hop, this, that, and the third. Someone got shot, someone got killed. Fucking Trump, 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 Trump. I'm tired of hearing about the same people in the media, and I feel like there's so much other irrelevant shit that I really could talk about. We could talk about the whole Danny Madison situation, that guy from That 70s Show, who literally just got sentenced to 30 years in prison for raping several women. Los Angeles judge has handed down a 30 year to life prison sentence to that 70s show actor, Danny Masterson. The actor has been in custody since May after he was found guilty of two counts of rape. But for some reason, the thing that's always in people's faces is Christian Rock. So Christian Rock pretty much made waves over the internet and she became way more popular when she announced her pregnancy. Now, Lord and behold, Krishan has been pregnant numerous times. According to her in a live stream one day, she got pregnant numerous times by the washed up rapper Blueface, but she aborted his baby on several occasions because she didn't think it was the right time to have the kid. Let me tell you what hurt. Instagram? Well, you told me to get rid of the babies and then no, have a baby with a bitch you're not even with. That's, that's what really hurt. No, ah, are you listening? You had me get rid of mine. Right. So... Now he want a family. Like, it's just... So you guys... The back and forth, right. like, the confusion got me f***ed up. So you guys were at a point where, obviously, you got pregnant, and then... Multiple times. Lord and behold, the beginning of the new year, she decides to finally announce that she's pregnant again, and she's actually going to be having this child. And now she has officially had her son, who she named after herself, and she named her child Krishan Jr., but I want to sit up here and say real quick that a lot of people have been dragging Blueface and people haven't been going so far as like spreading ridiculous rumors. Like if y'all didn't know, recently a disgusting TikToker by the name of Cole Kerrigan, who I'm not the biggest fan of because he's such a fucking disgusting, manipulative, lying prick, basically decided to get on TikTok and he decided to spread rumors about Blueface sliding in his DM and Blueface trying to get with him. Also, speaking of blue cheese, I mean, blue face, all this chit chat got me thinking about that time I posted these pics on Instagram a couple months ago. Check the material. Very much she a baddie, she knows she a 10, she a baddie with her baddie friends. Why did this happen after? Hmm. I wasn't gonna go there, but babe, I'm bored. <laughs> Come to find out, the man is a fucking liar, and he only spread that rumor because of all the chaos involving Blueface, and now he doesn't like Blueface. I might have ran with it a little bit. The guy in the video is actually Some call me a liar, I call it entertainment. Because are you entertained? Was your jaw dropped? I think it was. Job accomplished. Not Blueface, but the DMs are real. So if y'all want to still see those, maybe I should post them. And honestly, if it were about any other human being on this planet, I wouldn't even give a fuck and put my two cents in. But the fact that it's blue cheese and Stewie, why not have a little fun? And obviously, I'm going to say that it's going to backfire on his ass one day. And one day, when somebody fuck you up, put hands on you for spreading lies about them, it's not going to be all fun and games. But we're not going to talk about him. So, Krishan Rock recently had her kid, and she's been blasting her business all over the internet. And of course, Krishan Rock made it clear that Blueface was not present for the birth. So, when Blueface was not present for the birth, the first thing Blueface did was run to social media and say this. I hate that I have to speak out, but I have to speak out. Krishan Rock is a fucking genius. 
I'm not gonna take that from her. I'm gonna tell you why she's a genius. She knows how to manipulate. So she manipulated me to thinking that she was all about me because she was out of desperation, right? So that's why when she got into a position, she kind of tried to discredit everything I did, right? Granted, all right? Because I was confused. I'm like, damn, you used to say so much great things about me now. I'm responsible for everything but your success. I'm responsible for verbal abuse, financial abuse. I have two kids. I know this. You can't tell me otherwise. Krishan planned her labor. Coincidentally go to Baltimore and her water broke and she just went somewhere and had the baby. You know how I know this? Because certain hospitals don't let you film because of their own rules and, you know, whatever they got going on. Krishan went to a place prior when she was on baddies in Baltimore. She found a place prior that she could record this birth at. It's all attention based. Krishan has done everything up to this far for attention. She's manipulating all of us. So for you to try to pretend like you're really happy, all this other shit, you're doing bitter baby mother shit. Like, oh, you get what I'm saying? I'm hurt, like so hurt, yo, because I'm not keeping him away from his kid. I'm not keeping him away from his kid. But when I do keep him away from his kid, I'm protecting myself and my kid, yo. I swear to God, yo. You telling everybody that I planned this without you when it was crazy how you was two hours away. Nobody planned shit without you. I didn't even know I was going to go in labor, bro. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You made it about fucking little baby, bro. The fuck? This not little baby, baby. What the fuck is your fucking child, bro? You're not watching my kid. Your kids is not meeting them other kids. That shit is not healthy, nigga. All that shit over there is demonic as fuck, man. Nigga, I don't care about what nobody say, bro. And I'm not crying. Because I wanted you to come support Junior and all this other shit. I am crying because you're lying. I'm crying because you're making it seem like, you're making it seem like I really was trying to keep your kid away from you. I had an unplanned, I had a planned pregnancy. Nobody had no plan, bro. I'm talking to you. I'm communicating to you like, all right, are you going to come see your son? You like. Oh, you went to Baltimore to go see another nigga? No, I went to Baltimore to go perform, to continue to stay in my light, to continue to get through a fucking weird ass breakup. I was never with you, so I don't even know why I'm going through a breakup in the first place. I do, to a certain degree, believe Blueface, but I also believe that Blueface is a manipulative trash bag because I feel like he's trying his best to tear Krishan down only because he can no longer control her. I said this last year, and I'm going to say it again. Both of them are using each other. A relationship is literally give and take. And Blueface benefited from putting this girl on. He put this girl on the map. She got real popular. He documented her whole journey from when her teeth got fucked up after she got into a physical altercation from being one of his hoes in his mansion. And of course, Krishan became one of the biggest, hottest people on the internet after she got on baddies. But I don't feel bad for Krishan. And unfortunately, I never will. Because let's be realistic, she knew who this man was. People can always woe is me and wish her well, which is fine. But she is a homewrecker. She abided and aided in this man mistreating his other baby mama. And now she's mad because it's her? Cry me a river. It's karma. Blueface is trash and a questionable person. I might even think that he's a bad person because let's be honest for a second. This is the same man who when he got into it with his last baby mama two, three years ago, the first thing he did was record her and show the world how crazy she was. Just like how he's trying to show the world how Krishan is crazy and manipulative and has a mental issue. He did the same thing to his baby mother two years ago in front of their child. <laughs> Go ahead.
What's wrong with your mommy? What's wrong with your mommy? It's mommy What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? Oh, she don't live here. What's she doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Baby mama drama. Baby mama drama. Baby mama drama on crit. Damn, I, I got some good dick. Damn, I got some good dick. Because let's not forget what Blueface did to his first baby mama. Blueface was constantly cheating on his first baby mama, doing destructive things to her. And it even got to a point where they were even inflicting violence and chaos on one another in front of their child. Somebody call the fucking police. Do you see this shit? And they're doing this in front of the kid. Disgusting. Just deplorable. And this was literally like two years ago. So then Krishan comes to the picture. And of course, Krishan decides to mess around with Blueface. Yeah, when we was f***ing, like, when I was f***ing him, he was, she walked up in the house, and she yeah. was like, really, with my stuff, he like, you, we, I been moved you out, yeah. you don't live here no more, mm -hmm. and she looking at me like I'm supposed to rush and get some clothes, <laughs> so you I'm looking at her like, like you see my <laughs> that. <laughs> walk up in the house oh my disappointed God. Now mama come <laughs> trying to be her back on fate and look how stupid she look so Jaden alexis is blueface's high school sweetheart she was with him before he had money back when he looked awkward as fuck and real raggedy looking in the face you know she was with him before he had anything now he ricocheted left krishan after krishan was so hyped that he dipped out on his baby mama for her and now he's right back with his high school sweetheart, whom he embarrassed, and helping to push her rap career. Table, we slap in this bitch. Uh. Tummy tuck, BBL, sis, stop slicing your wrist. I work my ass off just to pay my ass off. And now she's stuck with a child. A child that Blueface didn't even want, but is now threatening to use against her by saying that he's going to fight for full custody. Blueface has been doing everything in his power to make it clear that Krishan is crazy and that she's the problem. He's taking little to no accountability and unfortunately neither has Krishan. He went on Twitter making it very clear that he will be fighting for custody now that the kid is born. And Krishan has been going on a lot of rants making it very clear that she will not let that happen. But realistically, Blueface is only mad because he can no longer control her. He put her on, he got her on all these shows, got her on all these platforms built a lot of things for her and now he probably feels like he deserves a return on his investment nobody taking my baby from me yo. you know how much shit i took when i was pregnant with him nobody taking my baby yo we fall short because you don't control my funds no more i i left what you took straight up you acting like I can't get that shit back. I can get all that shit back if I wanted to. I don't want that shit. I want new money, bro. I don't want that 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 trauma money that I went through trauma making that shit. I wasn't happy making all that money. You can keep that money. I'm gonna make happy money. Because realistically, Krishan is a unfit parent. And I hate to say it, low key, um, Blueface is kinda right. So I think Blueface is a toxic, narcissistic bitch, and I think Krishan is a manipulative, narcissistic individual, and I don't really think either of them are good people, in my personal opinion. Let's not forget that Krishan Rock was the same girl who, for some reason, the media did not report on this, the, the, the popular blogs at the Neighborhood Talk and the Shade Room, because obviously they're on this motherfucker's payroll. Clearly, it was seen in a video recently that Krishan Rock was puff puff passing, getting lit and high as she was pregnant just a month to two months ago. Certified we deliver. We deliver. At this point, she was like seven, eight months far along and she was getting faded. That is disgusting and, and fucked up on so many levels. And if Blueface even attempts to take this kid away, there is so much. 
that he can literally do to take this kid away. Because Krishan Rock, for some reason, believes the world devolves around her and she feels as though she's untouchable. And it's all fun and games until he actually succeeds and takes your kid. So Krishan Rock has been, for some reason, going on numerous social media rants, Twitter rants, and Instagram rants, showing her business and showcasing the fact that Blueface is a horrible person. Like she looks really, really stupid and I can't feel bad for an individual who boasted and bragged about taking somebody's man that wasn't even hers to begin with because he went right back to his bae mama slash high school sweetheart. Dare I say it, Krishan Rock is currently going through her karma and I think she is a narcissistic individual who is getting exactly what she bargained for. She put that energy out there and it came back to her. A wise woman, shout out to Rachel True, said it the best. The lesson is that what you put out will come back yeah. and, and part of the theory in witchcraft is what you put out will come back times three. Yeah. So even if you put out a little bit, thought, mm -hmm. it's going to come slamming back. and that's What you put out will come back times three. She became the very thing that she tried to destroy. She knows good and well that she tried to get in between Blueface and his baby mama. And deep down inside, even though they were already having issues and Blueface was already trashed to his baby mother, she tried to some way somehow get into the mix and believe everything Blueface was saying. She saw the fact that he was mistreating his baby mama, which is always a red flag. You never trust somebody that mistreats their, the mother of their child or the father of their child. And she still decided to be with him and still stay with him. And she put herself in this very same predicament that his old bae mom put herself in. And Jaden Alexis, Blueface's bae mama, who for some reason he's right back with her, which was predictable to begin with. She was recently asked in an interview, how does she feel about Krishan now being a bitter bae mama? And guess what? Jaden for a second thought about it and she made it clear that she doesn't feel bad for Krishan at all because Krishan very much so did messed up things to her. Some dramatic times. Do you empath empathize with her at all with what she's going through with her pregnancy? <laughs> Be honest. No, I mean, I don't empathize. I don't, I don't have no sympathy. You for... can't empathize no, with somebody at the me, club. This is night. about, this, this babe, this, is, this one's I'm about me though. Yeah, I'm asking her. I don't her sympathize talk. about that at all because my pregnancy was very traumatic mm. oh this is why i'm doing this and this is why i'm doing that not at all like mm -hmm. th i'm doing what god is handing me but i don't mm -hmm. have no sympathy as to to nobody that like spitefully did shit to me mm -hmm. like i don't have no sympathy towards that and that's I mean, just I feel like rock, and that's just what it is period. i feel like rock wrecked our home so she don't mind wrecking her own time. i'm not wrecking nothing it's you're not even like mm. Was the, was the rock thing, did it really get dropped out? Because obviously... And she ain't no better. She's a pick-me just like Krishan Rock. Look at her ugly ass just sitting there invalidating every single thing Rock is going through just so she could just be, be sitting there right next to the very man that traumatized her and, like, st stirred all of this stuff. Like, stirred them both against each other. They don't even know each other. And this man, this washed-up rapper, is sitting up there tolerating them like at each other like this you know she didn't say anything nasty about Krishan, but she said she don't have no sympathy for her which is cool and then his blue face jumping in saying well rock is at the club and well rock tried to break up our home what like do you and then here and, and i bet and i bet you i bet you him and the girl he's currently with are going to break up all over again and there's going to be another infidelity situation going on this girl is stupid clearly Blueface is the problem but i feel like these women are also the problem as well because they keep enabling his behavior because he seems like he's such a good provider and of course a lot of these women are digmatized dick is blind some of these women are dick down so good and are mesmerized by how how much of a support system this man is that they look past his red flags and shall i proceed let's not forget christian made it very clear that this was low-key a business transaction she has quote-unquote love for him and she thinks he does too but for her this was always an opportunity in the back of her mind she said it herself a year ago he's the only person that really fucking really believed in me but it's like what he raised from, if his mother raised him the way he raised him or the way he loved women and how he treats them, that have nothing to do with me. I'm fake teaching him how he's supposed to treat a real bitch. And yeah, it's a project. Like I'm the first one to really, I'm down with it though. Like why the fuck everybody mad that I'm down with this situation? Fuck y'all. Y'all don't even know what we going on. How much when we receive, like what? Nigga, this is a bag, nigga. If we don't capitalize over this, we dumb. Mm. Right? Mm. That's right. Like what? Now, 
You mentioned him like going Jay-Z through your and phone. Beyonce, my Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yeah. I can't take anything this girl says seriously because she's doing all this bashing and dragging, but I feel like in the next six months, she's going to wind up taking his ass back. Hell, in the next month, maybe even the next four days, she's going to end up taking him back. And the reason why I feel like she's going through this crazy awakening is because of this kid. Even though I don't think she should have brought this kid into this world, I am so happy she had this kid because one thing about people who have children, once you have a child, you're forced to literally face your demons because now it's you, your intrusive thoughts, your demons, and that kid who you have to raise and feed and fend for. So I'm glad that she has a kid now because now it's going to wake her ass up. Because if y'all didn't know, when Krishan was constantly with Blueface and acting irrational and constantly fighting and punching each other at nightclubs and at clubbing and hosting events, Krishan, nine times out of ten, was wasted as fuck and high as hell. It's obvious. Even when she was doing interviews, she was wasted and high out of her damn mind. It was so obvious. So I don't like nobody set me up in a conversation. For? Let me talk for myself. So Wait, it's sensitive. I think, I think I'm gonna finish. What's she playing for? I think I think I'm gonna finish. Are you not? Doing it by yourself? What do you mean? Do it by myself? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm Are you looking at me? No, 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 no. Wait, this is what I'm saying. Fuck. No, because you're being weird. Hey, like, come on. 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 But now that she can't get high anymore and get lit anymore because she has a kid now, she now has to really wake up and feel all the emotions that she was repressing. There I say it, a lot of y'all may not fuck with this, but when you drink hella and you do hella fucking weed, nine times out of ten, you're trying to numb yourself and run from something. For example, if you're struggling with financial issues, more than likely you're going to get blazed up every single damn day. If you're someone that is going through with a breakup, you're more than likely going to get lit and go out every single day. People who get absurdly drunk to the point where it's disgusting is either two things. It's either you're irresponsible and you don't know what the hell you're doing, or two, you know what you're doing, you just don't care because you want to silence all the noise in your head. Krishan is dealing with a lot of jealousy from her man because he made her insanely famous and now he wants to make sure that he gets every bit of piece of her he can. For example, I remember when he did an interview with No Jumper. I remember she was, um, he was asked in an interview, how do you feel about the fact that Drake, yeah, Drake followed your girl? And he, for some reason, took it as an opportunity to make it about himself. Who did you think when Drake followed her? Um, I took it like he following me. You know, I'm... You know, uh, me and him have a past where he was a fan of me at one point in time. And then so, you know, all my offspring, obviously, he gone, you know. Mm-hmm. It will, you know, I just, it's just kind of a infatuation with me, but uh, through her. Then let's talk about the fact that when he was asked in an interview, how would you feel if one of these rappers wanted to sign your girl or wanted to somehow, somehow collaborate with her? He immediately said no, and he would shut it down in a heartbeat. He claims that he knows a lot of these dudes will try to mess around with her and hook up with her. You got kind of mad about her taking a picture with Rick Ross. Yeah. And little baby on some yeah. big bro shit. Yeah. As an artist, <laughs> wouldn't it be... That's so annoying. <laughs> well, wouldn't it be smart for her to network with Rick Ross and little baby? <laughs> Hell no. Why not? <laughs> it's not It's not going to be real networking. You get what I'm saying? It's going to be like, like, oh, you sexy. Oh, I want you around. Oh, what? you got potential. Come to the studio. Take, I, I, what's your number? Let's lock, like, hey. They're just listening to beats and they're chopping it up about like her career, whatever, whatever. And like a song. Well, then I would have to be there. If I wasn't a rapper, then it'll be like, okay, I'm getting in the way. Because you're Rick Ross and you see Krishan Rock at the Super Bowl. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, shit, let's get a flick. No, you're not. Do you think Rick Ross does, Rick Ross does that? Did, I actually Thanks. do think that because Rick Ross is a pretty like like mellow dude. I, Shit, you're yeah, the girl on the internet wild. Y'all this. being nice. That's crazy. What? Work. If y'all think Rick Ross <laughs> walk up to bitches. Which we know deep down inside isn't always the case. It isn't always the case that these dudes try to hook up with her. Some of these dudes would generally try to help her and put her on. But of course, Blueface needs it like this. Since my whack ass washed up rap career ain't fucking work out, I need to make sure that they somehow, some way, give me a check and I get to benefit off that too. 
you got to watch out for people like that. There are people who literally will be in relationships with people and they'll see you as a partner, but they'll also see you as a financial asset where they see it as anything you do, I got to some way somehow benefit it. If, if you get a gift, I get a gift too. If you got a good idea going on, I got a good idea going on too. Everything you do is literally mine. Everything you do or you have going on should be mine as well because we're partners, right? scary that's a complete red flag and i don't feel bad for krishan because she knew what she got herself into she took this man back numerous times after he embarrassed her after he popped her ass and she popped his ass right back she knew what she got into when she constantly kept saying oh well you know i think he loves me much as i love him she knows what she got into she knew damn well this man wasn't gonna marry her she knew this man didn't really love her like that but she stuck around because deep down the side she knew that some way somehow there was going to be a lot of great benefits that come with it. She is a clout chaser. She is simply an opportunist. She knows what she's doing. She's just She just doesn't care. And now she's getting to a point where it's sucking the life out of her. This girl literally sold her soul for a couple M's. And now she's trying to pivot and trying to get away from him. But now it's too late. And to be honest with you, I think she's going to take his ass back. So I can't feel sympathy for her. And now Blueface is propping up his old bae mama who he had so much issues with and who Krishan physically assaulted in the past and now you're trying to push her music career it's a shame but again karma is a bitch karma is a lot of things but listen karma may be a bitch but karma will take her sweet time and everything Krishan is going going through is karma I can't feel bad for someone that tried to be a homewrecker bragged about it and then goes around trying to play victim don't play victim you knew what you signed up for. You should have dumped his ass when you had the chance. I know people always say, well, it's not easy to leave. Well, then, well, okay, well, then at the end of the day, it may not be easy to leave, but you got to hold yourself accountable for what you put yourself to do. Krishan doesn't take any accountability for any of the stuff that she's done. All she gets to the appear and say is, yeah, I probably should have broke up with him, and that's it. She has no type of... Oh, I shouldn't have did that to that girl. I shouldn't have did that because now look what look what he done did to me. Because how you get him is how you lose him. That's all I gotta say on that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know the comment section about to be spicy, but I don't give a damn. It is what it is, and I said what the fuck I said. Please be just like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. I say fire to the rain. Watch it burn the right away. I in this turn, turn, and I say fire to the rain. Watch it burn the right away. I run, I I set fire to the rain. That's all y'all get for free, and I don't even know the lyrics. Y'all have a good one.